Hey everybody, it's Jason Waha here. Now that my two obligatory informative videos are done for the day, it's time for me to talk about current events in the online fitness community. So let me put on my plus five hat of weaponsmithing, work on skill up my crafting a little bit, and let's talk about Kenobi. I know some people are like, you're saying his name wrong, he's Kenobody. I like to call him Kenobi, like Obi-Wan Kenobi, uh, because he is like the younger, less wise version of Obi-Wan still. But he has potential. He might be wise one day. Another 20, 30 years, he might be a truly wise man. But that's Kenobi. Now, here's the thing, guys. Kenobi made a video the other day explaining why he started using supplements, even though he's been anti-supplement all this time. Uh, you know what? It hasn't been very well received. A lot of people linked me that video. You guys can see people talking about it on my Facebook fan page, all that stuff like Jason, You really need to address this. And you know, here's the thing. I'm actually a little disappointed. I was actually starting to like this guy. He was starting to grow on me a little bit. He actually was. Guy was against supplements. I can get on board with that. I think supplements are a total ripoff. I think everyone selling supplements is a con man and a snake oil salesman, and we need to run them out of the supplement industry. I can support that. He was talking about weighted chin ups. You know what? That, that sort of stuff wins me over. Heavy weighted chin ups, getting strong on heavy weighted chin ups, being anti supplement. You know, that's a pretty good combination. Anyone talking about using weighted chin ups to build your back and biceps is teaching some good stuff there. I couldn't agree more. He was starting to grow on me. But then he turned to the dark side. It's like, no, Kenobi, you were the chosen one. He started talking about releasing his own supplement line. And he is releasing his own supplement line. Now, he made this video, and, and he's talking in the video, hey, guys, I, I know in the past I've always been against supplements, and I still am against most supplements. I'm against most supplements, but I started talking to my buddy Soul Orwell at examine.com, which I, I read, by the way, too, guys. Uh, Soul Orwell, and, um, you know, I realized looking at all his studies and looking at all the stuff out there, yeah, I've been against supplements, but I can make a lot of money selling this shit. I'm just saying, you know, there's a lot of money to be made here. You know, maybe move out of my mom's mansion, get my own mansion, get a new Lamborghini. If I sell enough of them, I could really be the Bruce Wayne of the fitness industry that I've always wanted to be. I could really be the Bruce Wayne. I could, there's a lot of money to be made in these supplements. Not, not all of them, just a few of them. Well, Kenobi... You know, that's not going to work for you. I'm going to be honest with you. Remember when Lobliner convinced me to do a little bit of an affiliate? Him and Steve Shaw convinced me to do an affiliate. Just to, just the good supplements of Tiger Fitness and only endorsed the few tiny things that worked. And I went ahead and did that and the blowback I caught. My followers, because I had been anti-supplement for so long, and these guys convinced me, hey, no, this would be a good move. You Look, you can just tell people to to buy the stuff that you say works. The couple of little supplements that are out there, it'll all be good. We're an ethical company. They convinced me, and by the way guys, I walked away from that well over a year ago, deleted all the links, ended my affiliate with them. I took all of that down a long time ago and apologized, publicly apologized for that bullshit. You know, it didn't go over too well with a lot of my, uh, my followers, did it? You're about to get a big taste of that. You can't come in and preach the truth about supplements and then say, but there's a few that still work. The truth is there, there are a couple that can be helpful. Okay, I'm not going to argue against that. We know that. But because they tend to get lumped together, they're going to be sold together. That's the problem we run into. And here's what he did. He's sitting there going, oh, well, you know, uh, there's a few that work. Yeah, there are. But you know what? You don't have to go to a company to get those. And people don't have to go to you to get those. And the problem is that I, went, I looked at your website. I looked at your prices. You're charging an arm and a leg. And here's the thing. Yeah, there's a few little ingredients out there that work. They, a lot of them work for 60, 70% of people. Now, keep in mind, they don't work for everyone. Things like creatine, it doesn't actually work for everyone. And studies show that a third of people do not get any response from creatine. Zero, nothing, nada. It doesn't do anything for a third of people at all. These are single ingredients. You're mixing up proprietary blends that might have one ingredient that works. And you know what? Anyone can buy that ingredient wholesale. For what you, you're charging and what all these other people are charging for these big proprietary blends of bullshit that you're mixing up, guess what? 
that same amount at $60, $70 you're charging for a bottle, a person could probably go order wholesale a lifetime supply of that one active ingredient that works. All right, there are companies, distributors that sell it wholesale, and you know this because you're having them mixed uh, together, so you're buying them wholesale. They cost like 10% of what you're selling them for. So yeah, a person for, for your $60 bottle, that one active ingredient, they could buy a three-year supply for that same cost. See the problem there? You're acting like a middleman. Well, this has got this one ingredient that works. Well, why are you charging $60 for something that's only worth $3? Because that one active ingredient, that person could buy pounds of it and end up paying $3 for the amount that you have in that bottle. $50, $60 for a bottle, are you serious? For $3 of value? That's the problem, and this is exactly, you're falling into the same trap all these cocksuckers in this industry do, of knowing this other stuff. So you know these blends don't work. You know you've got one active ingredient in there, maybe two. So five, six dollars worth of product in a $60 bottle that you know your customers and consumers could buy that for five dollars, those two separately, and take them. They could totally do that themselves. And then you're going to sell it for like $60. And then pretend like you're helping people by giving them that one or two active ingredients in your whole mixture. Come on, dude. You're pulling the same snake oil bullshit that I've been calling out for years. The same bullshit that everyone else is calling out for years and then trying to make a big profit off of it. And that's what it comes down to. You didn't realize, oh, there's a few ingredients out there that work. You realize you could make a shitload of money. Make a lot more money than you're making now. And you make good money on YouTube. There's good money on YouTube. People don't understand that. The, the money's pretty decent. If you build a decent sized following, uh, the money's decent. Some people are making millions and millions. But a lot of us out here, we actually make a decent living off of what we do. But the problem is that when we get greedy, and that's what it comes down to of saying, okay, you know, my, my um, ads do good. Yeah, I can make good money. I can sell some merchandise. Hell, I'll probably do merchandise later, guys. I'm not ready to do it yet. I probably will down the road. But, you know, you're giving you at least your followers something of value, something they want. You know, and, and that's okay. That's reasonable. I don't think anything's wrong with people. If they got followers who like them and they want to sell merchandise with their likeness, you're selling your own likeness. You're selling your own quotes. Okay, that's cool. People want to buy it. Um, but when we start getting greedy... I could sell $5 worth of active ingredients for $50 for $60. All right, you're getting greedy. You're getting greedy. You're falling over into that con man category when you do that. You know that product's not worth that. People say, well, reasonable market. Well, why do you need to mark it up? Why, why couldn't he just buy the $5 ingredient and sell it for $10? Because that $60 container only has $5 worth of actual useful stuff in it at the most. If he's buying it wholesale. But the thing is, the consumer could go buy five pounds of it also and never run out. Yeah, they might have to pay $60, $80, or $100. But that's what they're going to pay after a couple months of the product anyways. But then they got a lifetime supply of that one ingredient. And here's the thing. He got it right. The few things that work, they don't give you a big advantage. It's not like you're going to see a noticeable difference. And that's the difference we're coming down to. If you see a noticeable difference from taking a supplement, there's only one or two possibilities. Number one, it's been spiked with a drug. Uh, and that has been one of the biggest, biggest things that's happened. That's happened a lot. Steroids, amphetamines, things like that thrown in a product that's not supposed to be in there. So you've either gotten a drug or it's in your head. It's a placebo effect. You believe you're getting a big result from it, so you are. That's the difference. Supplements that actually do work, they're almost non-measurable benefits. They're there, but you almost need equipment to measure the benefit. And that is what has been found with a lot of these products. They, they work. A few of them work. Creatine gives a small performance improvement, a small muscle gain improvement for the people that it works in. Now, I've argued that it's a dietary imbalance that causes it. And, you know, that's a point of contention because there's been consistent data showing that people eat certain types of diets versus others benefit. There's a strong correlation there between it working or not. It's the sort of diet you eat. Dietary imbalance causes a lot of these to work. But the thing is, we are talking about very, very, very small benefits. 
And we're talking about small benefits. Okay, it might make sense for a person. Okay, they want that half a percent edge that product might give them when they go do the studies. It works for 70% of people. So they go buy a supply of it. You can get it from different companies that supply these things wholesale. That one ingredient, because that's the thing that works in the whole mix. You can go buy it. You can buy a lifetime supply. You can buy enough you're not going to run out of it in five years for the cost of what these combined mixtures cost for a couple months worth over the counter. Buy a lifetime supply, you're set. You don't need an intermediate to sell it to you. And that's what he's going to do. And he's going to make his proprietary mixes just like everyone else does, like every one of these cocksucking con men. And they say, well, now I'm going to get in the supplement game. It's called greed, son. That's called greed. And you're going to find, uh, I think you're going to find that when you've been pushing the thing that supplements are mostly useless, when you go over to selling supplements, I don't think it's going to go over as well as you think it is. I've learned firsthand, I've learned firsthand, a lot of your followers are going to feel betrayed by it. Uh, and in my case, when I did all that, you know what, I let someone else convince me. And that's where you start messing up. You let other people talk to you about this stuff and say, no, 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 you're, you're right, your, your morals are on this are on point, but, but, have you considered, just consider this other angle. You know, to consider this other angle. You get those people talking in your ear. And that's exactly what you did. And I've been down that road. And it doesn't end well. Because you end up compromising your values. You end up compromising your message. And that makes you look like a flip-flopper. It's going to make you look weak. I'm just telling you, Kenobi, I have been through this personally. I have been through it. And it will compromise your message. It's going to compromise the core values that you have instilled in people listening to your message. And it's going to hurt you. There's going to be backlash. There's going to be blowback. And you damn well better decide if it's worth it. Because I'm going to tell you right now, now that you're selling supplements, I was warming up to you thinking, okay, maybe he's not a bad guy. He might be one, he might be one of the good guys in the industry. But then you pull this bullshit and you're going to find there's going to be people out there who are like, fuck him. There wants to be a con man, snake oil salesman like these other cocksuckers. Fuck him. A whole lot of people are going to feel that way. Not just other YouTubers, people like me. You're going to find a whole lot of people are going to have that. You're going to lose a lot of support. And then the only support you're going to have are going to be these other cocksuckers selling supplements. And then they're like, well, why don't you come do business with us? People don't like you already. You might as well, you know, let's cross market a little bit. It's exactly what you're going to see. And you're going to get sucked into it. So at this point, now that you're going to start putting out these products, you're going to pull the same bullshit. You're compromised. Your message is compromised. Your values are compromised. Um... I'm going to recommend that people not listen to you while you're doing this until you come back from it and say, okay, okay, guys, probably not the best idea. Sorry, I don't mean to rip you guys off. Let's go back to the values I established about helping people. Till you go back to that, I'm certainly not going to support you. And you might say, well, I don't care about this guy's support. There's going to be a lot of other people out there who have supported you down at your grassroots level. You're going to lose that support can't compromise your core values. You can't do it. You've got to hold on to those things unless you have a really, really good reason to change them, and it better be big. And it needs to be more than, I can make a hell of a lot of money doing this. And I'm not saying you won't, because there are a lot of dumbasses out there. There are a lot of dumbasses who, because you've been against supplements, when you finally put something out, they're going to be like, oh, well, we know this is going to work, because you need to have supplement. I'm going to run this shit. You're going to get those dumbasses. And you might make some money, but it is going to compromise your message. All right, guys, but that's uh, really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative. And I will talk to you guys next time.